a general software reload for the Acusan Sequoia. Check the lower front pocket for your system software backup disk. Be sure to maintain this disk in its plastic protective cover or case. They are susceptible to dust and damages, so put the case in an easy to access location so you will not forget to protect the disk once you have completed the reload. Turn the machine on. This will bring up the imaging mode on screen. From this screen, you should go to the System User Interface, or SUI. Once you are on the SUI screen, click on the Data Backup icon. This will take you to the Data Backup screen. Once you are at this screen, scroll to the bottom of the page, check the box Accusan FAS Backups. This will take you to a screen containing files that can be backed up. There are seven files that we need to back up during this process. They are System Data, Calc Data, Exam Preset, Program Annotation, Auto Doppler, System Configuration, and Feature Control. Once these are clicked, a backup name should be assigned in the Backup Name field below your file selections. After a name is assigned, click OK. You will be prompted to insert a formatted MO disk. Insert the backup MO disk that was removed from the front pocket at the beginning of this process. Your system will check the MO and will begin backing up the seven files which were previously selected. At the top of the screen, there will be a percentage indicator, informing you of how much of the backup is complete. Whichever file it is currently backing up will be displayed in the box at the bottom of your screen. Once the backup is finished, the box at the bottom of the screen will indicate completion. Press OK to continue. After clicking OK, you will be prompted to eject the MO disk. Press the button on the far right of your monitor located below the screen. Remove the MO disk. Press the prior button located at the far left of your monitor located below the screen. This will return you to the SUI screen. Once here, you will press the OK button located below the monitor. This will lead to the imaging mode screen. Turn the machine off at this point. Insert the software disk before you turn the machine on. Press the gate button up while holding down the S key. Press power while holding the keys during the system boot process. Generally, this takes around 30 seconds. Your system will then load the software from the disk. Once you see Starting Software Installer, you can release the gate key and the S key. It will continue to load. Once the load is complete, this will bring you to a software installer screen. Click yes on the verbose output. This will allow you to see what is happening during the install. Be sure initial install is clicked down under the verbose output. Click OK. Click OK again. This will bring up an installation log, which along with the clock at the top right of your screen will show you your system's progress. This process should take around 10 minutes. Once the installation is complete, press OK to reboot the system. Press OK. This will eject the software disk. The machine will then reboot. Once it has rebooted, it will take you to the System User Interface screen, or SUI. Click the Data Restore icon. You will be prompted to insert the MO disk again. Insert the disk. Click OK. Your system will check the MO status and take you to a screen with the disk's contents on display. Select System Data. Click OK. Your system will then restore the system data. Once this process is complete, click Prior. Click OK to activate Network Changes. You will then be prompted to press OK to reboot. Press OK. 
This will begin the system reboot. Once the reboot is complete, the imaging mode screen will be brought up. From here, go back to SUI. At the SUI screen, click Eject MO, remove the MO disk, and place it back in its plastic cover. Store the disk in the front pocket of your machine. From your imaging mode screen, go back to SUI, click on the network setup icon. This will prompt the system to be rebooted. Press OK. Your system will then read the network data. Go back to the SUI screen if your preferred network is being used. At this point, check your feature control to ensure the features were reloaded properly. It is useful to rely on a sonographer at this point because they know which features are most often used. Now is a good time to pull out your probes and test them. Test the ultrasound equipment to ensure it was reloaded properly. Press the begin and end button. Assign an ID of test patient on the patient demographics page. Use the proper preset for your probe. For this particular probe, we will use a carotid preset. Make sure everything looks and works normal with your system by going through all the available modes and from there, review your data as if it were from a normal patient. This, in turn, will ensure that your software reload for your Accuson Sequoia was executed properly.